Alright, what's up guys? Because always, welcome back to our first week battle in UBL versus Dr. Slack King and his Green Forest Snowverse. And, um, well, yeah, looks the part. Uh, his team was really tough to prep for, like he had a lot of fun stuff, but this is the monster I kind of was looking for. Um, like for me, I think, I'll, I'll be honest, I think the ones scaring me the most are probably Rhydon and Tauros. Though Clank Clank for, for me is very hard to deal with. Uh, I'm gonna actually lead off with Scissor as, uh, or, or Scyther, Fury Scissor, as it does outspeed everything on his team. Barring, to be honest, that uh, Forsaken Zableye. But I should be free to U turn versus most of these mods, and versus Tauros, I probably switch out. Uh, but overall, this team looks very cool. Um, I think Hitmon Top looks great. But it's going to struggle against Sableye. As long as Sableye is kind of active, um, it will be hard for me to kind of break this team. But Technician, you know, Mac Punches and whatnot, it's going to be interesting. Um, and also the Slacking, like, make sure to check out his channel. Uh, I actually <laughs> watch his stuff right now, every now and then. He's very charismatic, one of those people that you just enjoy their, like, thought process and. Uh, Considered I don't look at the leagues that many or that often, I feel there's a, a select few I enjoy watching because they're not like the top tier players, but rather the way they level and go ahead and play are... It makes sense to me. I, I love watching people that where their time process just make, makes sense. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't like watching really strong players who wins every time. I want to watch the players who really has a journey in their battles and the Dr. Slacking represents probably one of the very finest we got. So, like I said, if you had the chance, check him out. And with that said, you know, good luck, have fun to Matthew and hope that I don't get destroyed. Um, there's always those possibilities. So he starts off with Rusty, it's a really good lead. Um, depending on the set, this is going to be problematic. Um, just go into U-turn, I think that's my best play-ish. See whether or not it's scarfed or not, I guess. Um, not the ideal lead, of course. Then again, what is? <laughs> it was probably predicting our worst, I think. I still can't do anything versus this, at least not that well. He should carry something like Wild Charge and um, the Gear Grind move or... Yeah, whatever, you know, that hit, that move that goes twice. It does a sudden withdrawal, which is kind of nice. Goes to a lawnmower. Huh. Ooh. I can I can deal with that. Um, ooh. Ooh, Rocky Helmet. That's definitely not a violent. <laughs> oh my god, all right. Cool. Um, <laughs> that's definitely not a violent. Um, should send in so hard or Lorelei. I think Lorelei makes sense. If anything, I can always Earth Power. Um, I barely remember what move I gave this guy. <laughs> Not seeing Jinx since he was kind of frustrating though. Um, or not frustrating, but I actually had... Yeah, I am a Solvus, right? I decided to go with that over... Yeah, exactly. So, Earth Power still makes sense. Because I don't want to give anything a free switch in Zero power. I think I scared off with that. Hopefully. Rocky Elm is definitely frustrating. Brings King Bradley. Alright. I gotta assume this guy is a Soulfist then. Yeah, yeah. That's a Soulfist. <laughs> so free stride would not have been a crazy play. Um... Bring in so hard. It actually could be mixed. If it is mixed, then I have so much trouble. But then again, like my best play is probably to just knock off here. Let's see. Yeah, Blizzard. Oh, nice. Oh, I actually did it right too. <laughs> Question is. He dies another one of those. At 
Elite Seed is not, not all that crazy. Yeah, Elite Seeding. Let's see what he wants to do. Kinda want need Kling Clang in. <sighs> because I need to whittle that mom down to be able to spam blizzards and freeze dries. I really, really was thinking maybe Polaran will be special, or I mean Solvus, but definitely not special. So I kinda like that. Let's see this time. Yeah, still does a right. Leech Seed will do annoyances. Yeah, Giga Drain would probably be a stronger overall move, but you know, I take what I get. Let's see. How many turns of hail do I got left? They also have like a rule against. Um, you know, that's my problem, but the, the rule is against. Um, um, what do you say? Not carrying. Um, um, something that boosts your weather turns. I kind of forgot about that as I was drafting. So I can't use, like. Never melting ice, whatever it's called, to en enlarge or en and make sure I have more turns of what I want. Brain punch, cool, it's mixed. Not gonna do a whole lot really. Or it stinks, I mean, I clearly can't take another one. Um, Hail stopped, which is great. Lead seed will also be great. Nom nom on that. So if I were him, like, would I hard switch? He's still a Solfus, he's like the worst. I'll still Thunderbolt here. However, Rhydon is a fair switching. Will always be that, by the way. I think I scare him out. I don't believe Thunderbolt is a kill, but I think this is stresses him out a little bit. Plus, any time I can get Polyrath kind of will down, it's going to be phenomenal. Polyrath is just real annoying. Then again, most of his teams kind of is. It's a good synergized team. You kind of, kind of like facing players who just really bring stuff that are, well, interesting. Let's see. Design Stain, which is great. This Thunderbolt probably isn't killing. Nah, nowhere near. Uh, liquidation. So that's a KO. We lose Jolteon and our speed benefit. Oh, still kicking. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. We should have died to that, right? Um, we've seen Blizzard. We've seen. <sighs> kind of want to. Yeah, I'm not going to take that gamble. <laughs> I should not have lived that hit. I definitely should not live that hit. But I'm like. I can't risk it if it has a vacuum wave. Keeps the liquidation, that's fine. Um, cool. I just, like I said, I couldn't risk it. He could have had a vacuum wave, and that would have been just all kinds of wrong for me. Huh. So how do you, how do I deal about this cling clang? That's the question though. I am worried about man and rice. He is thinking though, which is kinda nice. Um I think Cling Clang versus Tang Growth or Tangela has a free switch in. Uh, I can like only disrupt it and annoy it with Lead Seed. So I guess I can prolong a matchup I want, but it depends whether or not he's substitute with um like that's the issue. Like if it's substitute combination, then it's is all kinds of bad. Alright. This isn't all too bad, I think. I haven't gone for a move yet, he could taunt. If he's a soul breaker, then so be it. 
it could also just be Nightshade. Um, draw its speed. So it did win for an offensive move. Maybe knockoff. Maybe knockoff. Great. Elite Seed did a lot, actually. We don't see leftovers. Be surprised we don't see leftovers. Got us in Lore Light. Losing with our life maybe was a bad play, but. Or it was a bad play. <laughs> from my side of key, at least, not for him. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Does the sign withdraw, which is great. Goes to Rusted. Alright, so definitely not ideal. Question is, is it sub leftovers? I don't want to be in this position. I really don't. Um, I bring Baba Yoba. Um, there is a scenario here where Clang Clang just kind of wins. I kind of need this guy elite seated to be able to work properly. Gear grind, yeah. That's the right play. Like, versus this, it can't do anything. But at the same time, neither can I. <laughs> Like, Earthquake is my safest play, and um, it will only work if it doesn't have Mana Drive, which it should carry. I'll take a Thunder Wave here. It would be nice if I could disrupt either this one or any mod that he decides would, it'll bring it in. This is a withdrawal, which is great. Goes to Flapple. Ooh. I'll take it. <laughs> hmm. Still though. Without... Ah, that's gonna be a big issue. Ugh. He should be carrying something like Leech Life. Without the Violet, the tang Tangelite's not that great. By the way, when you guys are watching this, I actually decided to drop Tangelite. I actually got the opportunity of bringing or drafting um, Trevenant instead. And versus this matchup, it probably wouldn't have done all that well, but Tangela is a bit on the passive side to me, so it made sense for me to kind of just <laughs> rejuvenate myself. Um, ah, fully paralyzed, great. Kind of need that, kind of needed that. The question is, will his sack play? Honestly, for me, it makes more sense to just go for uh, Lead Seed. A Bally Mon Kling Clan come in. I don't believe he would sack this Mon. Even if it's paralyzed, then you know, by default it's kind of crippled. This I would draw great. Goes to. I want so badly rusty. South Texas. So we keep disrupting, which is something I can definitely work with. Let's see. Yeah, it was leftovers. I didn't realize that. Maybe leftovers goes before. That's why. Wow, look kind of weird. 
All right. I think I can knock off here. Even if Nightshade might do something to me. Just get the item out of the way. Withdraw us. Nice. Goes to Rusted. And Rusted's leftovers will be lost. But that's all he lost. Right, cool. Lead Siege. Whole Prius and they are able to like he can gear grind for all I care. But don't substitute on me, please. Toxic. Yeah, that's better. It's not ideal, but that's better. Please connect this. Nice. So having Tangela heavily crippled now with both Toxic and Knockoff Divialite, yeah. Um, I see one mod is definitely is making my day a bit longer than I want to. <laughs> but at least... At least I'm kind of good. Um, yeah, Baba Yoba comes in again. Um, so toxic and the gear grind. He must have shift gear and wild charge. Like, why wouldn't he have it? Right, so should I go to Shana Shop? Wow, yeah, that's a name. All right, Baba Joba. You know what's up? I should have enough HP to soak a hit. I just kind of wish he should bring in Rhydon, though. You've seen my trick. He could have Fire Blast. It should do a lot. He should have Earthquake. That should do a lot. He could have Close Combat, and that will definitely do a lot. If I can get this guy paralyzed, then it's just... Then I'm not that worried. But it's a matter of if... Damn, it should have stayed though. Would've been nice. Back to Lawnmower. That's a waste. Lightning Rod. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> now that's a play. Um, now, I really don't want to stay in here, even if it just goes for an earthquake. I think you over self right? that would be fine. Um, this time I go for a kill, I'm definitely going to go for a Giga Dream. If I were him, I'd probably set up rocks here. I have not speed invested to outspeed Rhydon. I was considering it. But I just lost too much bulk. Yeah, stealth right. Nice. Makes sense too. And this time I'm just not that worried about going for Giga Dream. Oh, I don't like when it just takes a bit too long for each move to walk or work. So without him, I probably bring Clang Clang here anyway. Or the rusted South Texas. Yeah, cool. That's a recovery guy. And yeah, we do plenty. And that's without investments. That's kind of cool. Though we can't stall this fruit. Leads in here, I think it should recover. I actually haven't seen any move on this guy so far. Yeah, recover, cool. So I need a way to find, or I need to find a way to spin. Let's see how much will Toxic do to me now. Yeah, next time won't be pleasant. 
Though we should attack me this time, so I'll happily go for Gatorade. And then switch out with Regenerator. Maybe I should have double leeched, but uh, I'll think I bait him enough to force him to probably attack me. I want to see Shadow Ball of Dark Pulse. This side saying, which is great. Gonna be plenty. <laughs> I just really want to force him for a recover. Let's see. Knock up. Yeah, that won't do anything. I'm just thinking. Yeah, now Toxic is actually racking up. You shoot a will o wisp. Right, sing in Lorelei. At least Blissed Sting here. While Stealthrock will hurt me, um, you know, 25% and whatnot, um, I just can I get that breaking power started? It's gonna be phenomenal. Spamming those blizzards. So, residuals in Inhale and Lead Seed. Yeah, I think I'm good. Just want to see what move he does carry. I don't want to switch in and out too much. That I don't. But yeah, Blister is my strongest hit. And this should do a lot. Even though I'm bulky. And all the switching I can, that comes to mind is Rusted or Clang Clang. Which we started to whittle down with a knockoff, so it's not too shabby. Yeah, I really wanted their power, I won't deny that. Blizzard should still do alright. Yeah, cool. So, Baba Yoba. And this time I probably just quake. We've seen Toxic, we've seen the um, Gigrime move, so as of this point, I'm not too worried about something like Manet Rice or Substitute for that matter. I don't want to switch in and out too much, at least not yet. But the save line is definitely. Um, oh, withdraws, cool. Goes to Flapple. All right. Far from ideal, clearly. Uh, <laughs> you know. Leech life, it's such a good move on it. So is Stone Edge, clearly. I don't believe I would speed, and I don't want to take that risk. So far, probably won't either, by the way. But he keeps getting crippled, so what do I care? I hate when the game treats opposing players like this because, look, I get the paralyzation, you know, it's. It's an asset, I guess, but I really don't like when uh, it shifts um, the momentum of the player. You play the yellow magic because you want it, but at the same time it... Ah, like I said, it's not pretty. Right, withdraws goes back to, I can assume, South Texas, yeah. Hmm. 
Alright, so we have some type of stalemate here. It's not a whole lot happening here. I'm going to knock up this time. Just disrupt him. <laughs> See, poultry guys. Ah, cool. But I lost my item. You knocked it off, right? Remember? <laughs> cool. Um, so this time is definitely forced to go for recover. And I am forced to take some extra residual nice damage. And this time without lead seed recovery. So, I'll be honest, kind of, I was just not expecting him to do that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we blistered again. Like, if Clan Clan comes into range, that's gonna be just phenomenal. Outspeed with um, not sure, but I think outspeed with um, versus cabot tops. It's whether or not I'm willing to take that risk. Keeps bringing rusted. I mean, this guy's definitely going down. He can only take so many hits. Yeah, he's no longer switching. Kind of where we wanted him. Gonna bring Baba Yoba again. The worst part is, it's not the mon I want to kill. Or, I want it to kill, of course, but that's not the route I want to take to kill him. Um. Yep, go grind. Nice. It's not gonna do anything. My leftovers go going to um, negate the best of that, and uh, he dies to the next hail, right? And I clearly can't recover more than my hail is doing to me. Gonna gonna miss my roars because this time I am definitely setting up rocks. Come on. It is time. I want my residual damage. I've been waiting long enough. <laughs> I mean, Rusted is by Furious, actually, for him. But he can save it. Decides not to, which I think is fine, by the way. And there is my rocks, and that ensures some extra residual damage towards my opponents. Probably should have done that play earlier. Honestly, now that I think about it, because his team wasn't that very weak to rocks, it didn't make sense to kind of go for it. So, alright, let's see. He got right on, which is definitely annoying. He got Cavitops, which is crippled and manageable. He got Sableye, which if it comes in now to Wisp me, I'm gonna cripple it. Because <sighs> that's the way I play. And if Tauros comes in, I don't know the role. I know that his best moves, Close Combat and Earthquake, are not boosted. Yeah, Flapple. Makes sense. <sighs> Like, Stone Edge is just such a great move for him. So Art, but I'm just, I'm convincing myself he has to have uh, Leech Life. If I were using Cabotops in this matchup, I'd probably do that. 
or rapid spin. Rapid spin is not all that crazy either. Let's find out. What will it be? Rapid spin. God damn it. Okay. So now we're in a bit of a situation because now it definitely outspeed me. Does he have stone edge to KO me or will he falter? I need to get ready anyway. This could be very decisive. Damn, he had rapid spin. If I quaked him here, that would have been a wrap. Oh, he switches out. He's not liking that. South Texas. And Gidray will do plenty. Alright, I still got Regenerator on my hand. So. Leech life in here, hoping for the best. I think he should recover. I like that I have him in a rough situation. Um, I just I can't break through with the knowledge that it could carry Will O Wisp. Um, so that's something I kind of need to uh, adjust to or level around with. At least it isn't missing those. Like, if I don't miss Leech Seed and whatnot, I could probably, like, whittle him down. But now I've stayed too many turns in Toxic, so probably not this time. No, I think I got one more Giga Drain in me. Cool. Like, if I were him. What would I do? Because now I'm definitely getting like those numbers I want to do. Knock off, yeah. So knock off Poltergeist. It is definitely not looking stellar here. But yeah, like I said, the Toxic is racking up. I need to switch out. He knows that. I don't like these type of turns. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Just, it takes a bit too long. I still, I like Lorelei is my best switching. So is whether or not he goes for Poltergeist, knowing I probably would switch out. And just do as much damage as possible. Because now I'm under. Yeah, recover. Nice. Um. At least the leech dive kind of just gives me that opening I want. Would he sack play here? That's the question. With the mods remaining, like Cavatops is a good switching. I'll freeze dry here. I think it's strong enough. Yeah, he switches out. Cavatops, Cavatops, Cavatops. And there we go. Oh, he took it like a champ, though. Is he AV? Not again. And it's gotta have Aqua Jets. Can't bring them so hard. We've seen Rapid Spin. AV Cavitops. I like. Yeah, like Aqua Jet makes so much sense. <laughs> I will be buffed and so will you. And you will die into the next turn, so. You can always be crippled. Or 
There's no way he goes for liquidation this time. Taking a bit of a gamble here. I consider lead seed. We've seen rapid spin, we've seen aqua jets. I assume he has stone edge. Oh, he keeps jetting. Ah, this is gonna sting. Not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see. Fuck. Um. His Tauros will now take a kill. Oh man. There is a challenge shot for sure. And he's heavy duty boots. No, I rapid spin before. Um, yeah, this was not great. Alright, gotta take this gamble. It's definitely not gonna work out. But I hope it close combats. Great. So by the way, it's gonna kill, but uh, he will now be at minus one defense. And honestly, that will work for me. Come on. Sending in Dondrick. And I should be able to triple axle here, I think. Hopefully, like, Mac Punch alone scares him. Yeah, we draw nice, because I need that Sableye dead. Somehow. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Nice. Got them all. Pull it up with a bullet punch. I believe I'll prioritize him. Come on, I need this badly. I hope this kills. Because if not, we're back to square one. We do have speed. Come on, Dondrick. Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, kind of needed that. Kind of needed that to, for this whole game to kind of work. Now, to be able to beat, however, that Tauros, um, I mean, jolting out speed, which is definitely helpful, um, but I need his ride on kind of dead somehow, right? And that's not going to be a simple task. Yeah, he brings Shana shot directly, so... I have to go for it. It's definitely not killing, but I gotta go for it. Yeah, not even close. Body slam. Will it kill? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a popping hit. But we actually managed to live that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I was sure that was a kill. I was sure about that. Oh, my lord. You know what? That was lacking. I'm really sorry about this game kind of went about because I I really know how deadly this game could have gone and 
Ah, uh, that role, I, I don't believe. Even though I am a solvist and have a lot of HP investment. Yeah, probably should have killed. So my game plan from there was actually to um, sacking Aurorus. And from there just go for Weather Ball over and over again. That was the plan at least. But uh, this kind of works too, I guess. By the way, I'm pretty sure... Rocky Helmet kills me, so let's go with that. <laughs> hey -oh. Chris, there's one thing I really want. It is to give Aurora's the final kill. I'm... I've been so happy with Aurora's this game. I'm almost feel some regret that I'm dumping it, but it's just... For a team planner aspect, Aurora's just been... I shouldn't say annoying, just kind of hard to get right. So... It made sense for me to just dropping it and uh, recollect myself, because the game I played today is a lot slower than I want to play. So, even though I am able to score a 4 win here with hacks in mind, of course, uh, it still is a lot slower than I want it to, to be. So, with that said, thanks for liking your favorite game. You guys been watching, make sure to check his side of this battle out. It was definitely... I think it was actually kind of rough for the both of us. And with that said, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, as always, take care, everyone. Right? Bye.